Hi, Assalamualaikum. Okay, today we're going to do topic 4 on the plan layout. Before this, we did the plan location. Okay, now we want to learn on the layout inside the uh, factory or manufacturing. Okay, in this chapter, we're going to look on the objective why we need to do relayout okay, in the manufacturing or services. And we want to see what are the factors uh, influence the layout decision. Okay. And then we look at the type of layout. And also we do some calculation on the line balancing. Okay. So these are uh, the typical McDonald uh, line line. Okay. Okay. This is their uh, their production line. Okay. So it started from the order. Okay. The order coming in. So these are the bun section. So when the order from the counter and then they go through this monitor, let's say, okay, one Mac chicken. So the person, the first person will take the bun. Okay. And then the process start with the bun toasting. Okay. And the assembly. Okay. Assembly bila bun dah toast, about how many minutes? 20 to 30 seconds. Then they assemble okay, with the chicken, patty and then all the veggie. Okay. And then the uh, wrapping station okay, before they put on this, uh, uh, they punya racking. Okay. So the racking is heated racking. So they just uh, slot it in and the person here will take the order okay, and the pack give to the customer. So this, this is considered as a layout okay so layout not necessary uh, in the manufacturing also in the services okay these are the timing eh okay kita tengok in detail so it start order masuk okay this is they they take the time study so dah like 11 second they they already toasted the bun okay and then within uh, 20 second okay they assemble and then 14 second uh, wrapping and then put in the racking and the order straight to the customer. So total time is about less than 2 minutes. Okay. okay. So it's a very fast uh, process. Okay. Strategy important of layout decision. Okay. Why do manufacturing or service provider do re-layout? Okay. From previous layout to the new layout because they want to get uh, the service or the production more effective and efficient. Okay, mungkin uh, last time uh, the order is not that high. So now change. So they need to do some re-layout. Okay. And there are two types of layout. Uh, not two types. There's a two part. Okay. Uh, the first one, you look layout at the facilities or at the manufacturing side. And the other one is service layout. Don't forget, eh, service also have lay layout. For example, the McDonald's just now. Okay. So, they have the layout also. So, to facilities, this, uh, they are four types. Okay. Uh, we have fixed layout, process-oriented, work cell, and product-oriented. And for service, they, in, they divide into three in which we have the warehouse or storage layout, retail layout, for example, supermarket. Okay. Okay. Um, and then we have office layout. Okay. So we need to know what are the characteristics of this uh, layout. And then layout de design consideration. Okay. Before, before you want to do uh, re-layout. Okay. Or, or let's say you have moved to a new, a new place, a new factory, and then you want to design your layout. You need to consider this factor. It's very important. First, the utilization of the space, equipment, and people. Okay. Make sure you susun or you arrange in a manner so that you can get the uh, high utilization. Okay. And then improve flow of information, material, and people. So make sure the the line, production line, you straight line is better. Okay. So jangan datang patah balik because it's gonna uh, uh, kata flow tu tak tak lancar. Okay. So make sure the flow is uh, based on the process sequence. Okay. Based on the step so that the 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 flow in your factory or in your plant is smooth. 
and then uh, also by lay, uh, considering layout design for the employee morale okay uh, in which it means that you have to make sure the employees are comfortable okay uh, temperature just nice okay the lighting is okay and then ventilation not too stuffy and then safe environment is very important because make sure the machine are not too close okay it's dangerous and then uh, people pun tak so crowded duduk terlalu rapat so benda-benda ni kita need to consider and also improve customer and client interaction so let's say sometimes client atau customer request nak visit your factory nak visit your uh, place nak tengok how you you make the those product okay so you need to make sure it is accessible and uh, easy to orang kata easy to people come and easy to visit your your place okay and must be flexible let's say there's a changes in a new machine coming in uh, so make sure there's a space okay there, there's a laluan untuk fork lift there's a there's a place for the fork lift to u-turn and so on so all of this you need to consider okay not just like okay susun suka-suka i uh, cannot so you need to consider all of this factor Okay, first of all, okay, uh, this factor is very important because you need to know the nature, okay, the nature or the type of product that you produce, okay, is it good or services? So, let's say if you're in the hotel, it's under services, so you need to know what are the best layout, okay, the front desk nak buat macam mana, okay, and then you punya lobby macam mana, okay, and also for the manufacturing atau producing goods, uh, what type of material handling you nak pakai, okay, uh, is it you going to use fork lift or is it you going to use conveyor belt or you nak guna robotic arm so all of this you need to consider especially kalau nak letak crane okay and then all the storage area so you need to make sure you consider all the factor okay first kali is on the nature of the business and also on the characteristic of material and handling equipment very important is it bulky okay is it uh you need a very fast uh movement okay mungkin a type of perishable food let's say so all of this you need to consider okay also you need to consider the nature of manufacturing process what are the process involved okay is involved on the machine berapa banyak machine you ada how big is the machine so you need to consider that okay sometimes machine they need to do wiring and so on the ventilation they need some ducting so all of this you need to consider okay and then uh, repair maintenance you need to consider is your repair team your maintenance team can access the machine if you put it too close to the wall let's say because you have limited space you tolak semua pergi dinding bila maintenance nak buat uh, uh, orang kata nak uh, all the repairing process tak boleh sebab tak boleh access tak boleh masuk pun belakang tu ok so you need to consider that point also ok and you need to consider ok the volume of production uh, yes this is very important ok is it uh, what is the volume if is it a uh, high volume so you need to make sure that you have space to put extra machine ok and then type of production method that you're using uh, are you using uh, uh, you ship okay are you using a straight line okay so all of the unit to consider and also the factory building uh, okay how big is your factory is it uh, uh, is it uh, humidity control okay lighting cukup ke tidak okay especially if you in the clean room okay uh, in dealing with the uh, chips and so on okay uh, uh, wafer okay pcb so you need a very orang kata low temperature environment okay make sure the dust or you need to control the humidity and because the the product you produce is very sensitive to all this okay so you need to consider all this uh, requirement for your process and and then human needs also your employees need okay kena sediakan toilet proper toilet and if the uh, work uh, spec melibatkan uh, hazardous okay contohnya you do painting welding so you need all this uh, proper ventilation okay so all of this is very important okay and uh, plant environment also 
Okay, the noise sometimes if the machine uh, produce vibration pun nak kena make sure you have a proper uh, uh, proper arrangement so that it won't vibrate the whole factory. Okay, and then you need to consider also uh, this one if you did apa tu involved with the fume. Okay, you to to provide the proper ventilation. So all of this you must consider. Uh, okay, not just for the aesthetic ataupun nampak cantik but also you need to consider all of this factor. Okay, so good layout consider capacity and space requirement. Okay, keluasan atau tidak. Selection of material handling equipment. Okay, you nak pakai apa? You nak pakai robot arm. You kena make sure you punya ceiling is quite high. Okay, kalau you nak pakai fork lift, make sure there's a place for fork lift to go back and forth. So, jangan one way je. Nanti nak patah balik tak boleh. Ha, <laughs> okay. And then, aesthetic and environment. Okay, when you dealing with the uh, yang banyak guna orang kata assembly yang kecil-kecil. So, you need a very uh, lighting tu kena bagus. Okay. Temperature. And so on. Tak boleh lah panas sangat nanti employees tak selesa maka nanti keadaan untuk bekerja tu tidak uh, baik. Okay. Flow of information. Very important. Cost of moving between work areas. Jangan terlalu jauh. Kalau jauh sangat kena, uh, it gonna have lots of cost lah. Cost of minyak apa tu gas from Fort Leaf. Okay. And electricity. So you must consider the cost also. Safety very important because safety will uh, the the met, uh, paling penting. It's very important because if not, they will impose hazard to your employees. Okay, especially electricity. Karena kita tak perasan eh, electricity, uh, maybe uh, vibration. Okay, uh, fumes. Karena kadang kita tak nampak fumes tu, but we are exposed with that. So all of this you need to consider and must provide for your uh, employees okay okay next video i will show you on the type of layout